everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And I know it's been a while since I was in front of the camera, but you guys have been asking for a tutorial on how I make my backdrops. And so I decided that I would take the opportunity today to show you guys how I do that. Now the first item that I have, and this is very, very old. Um, I should have purchased a new one. I'm so embarrassed to show you guys this, but it just shows you how long this actually lasts. I've been using this for about two years, and this is called Foam Board. And I'm gonna stand it up. And it's from Hobby Lobby. It is $8.99, and I used a 40% off coupon. And what I did is I purchased two pieces of the foam board, and I taped it together in the middle. As you can see here, it's taped together. And all the holes are the pinholes that I um, have done over time as I've used this board. But once you cover it in fabric, you can prop it against any wall or any uh, flat wall surface um, to hold it up. You don't have to do anything else to it. So I really like it. And then because it's taped together, you can buy a piece that is this size, but the reason I chose to do this is because I normally use my car when I'm transporting, and so it's easy for me just to fold up and store away. You can slide it underneath the bed or in a closet or whatever the case may be. Now, the second thing is you buy your fabric, and what I do is I go out and pick a fabric that uh, coordinates or you know the, uh, the, with the theme that I have so it matches the theme it coordinates with the theme and I pick a fabric that is in that theme or I use a fabric that I already have now if you purchase two pieces of this um, foam board that I'm telling you about at Hobby Lobby it is uh, you'll need two yards of this fabric so I traditionally buy the fabric in two yards I don't get it you know I get it cut for two yards and that way you don't have to buy more fabric than what you need and then I use my 40% off coupon on the fabric if the fabric is not on sale so for example this fabric cost me for two yards about seven or eight dollars which is really good for the backdrop because I can use this over and over again and so the third thing you're going to need are push pins. And this is just your traditional office push pin. I like push pinning instead of gluing or um, stapling it down. It's just easier for me to push pin it in and out. And when you do staples, sometimes the staples can come through to the other side. Or you'll have to try to pop out the staples, which is, you know, you have to get a staple remover. And so I like to use... Um, as few items as I possibly can in order to um, make this straight. And so the last thing I want to tell you before I cut away to lay this on the fabric is that when you're laying this down, you're going to lay it down on one side and then you're going to pin it down on the other side. Be sure to open it up to make sure it's smooth and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to show you that really quick what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to cut away to pin it down. So once you lay out your board, like so, I hope you guys can see this, you're going to lay your fabric, so this is the front of my board, you're going to lay your fabric over the board, and like I said, you're going to need two yards of fabric, so I'm always buying fabric even though I don't sew, and so once you lay your fabric Over your board, you gotta make sure all edges are covered. And as you notice, I don't have a whole lot of overlap. And that's, that's intentional. Um, I don't wanna spend any more money on fabric than I have to. Um, so I'm gonna just lay that down. And then you're gonna simply flip it over and start pinning. So I'm gonna flip this over and start pinning and I will be back to show you guys what I come up with. Okay, you guys, so it's all finished. The um, the back has been pinned down. I'm gonna flip it over to show you guys what that looks like. Um, I have a young lady that works with me by the name of Angela. She's, she's assisting me and I'm showing her how to do parties. And so she pinned this down and I wanted her to kind of learn how to do it on her own. She did a great job with this. If you can see at the bottom, it's a little bit off. The pattern's a little bit off, but that's okay. You want to make sure it's okay at the top because once I start placing the desserts on the table, it will cover up that bottom piece. So let me show you guys what it looks like um, from the back and um, once it's been pinned down. So I'm just going to flip this down and up. So this is what it looks like from the back once it's been pinned down. And that's how you make a backdrop.
backdrop for your party table. So you, you guys are in for a treat today. I'm going to go ahead and start hitting up my um, pom-poms, and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Now, this ceiling is sheetrock. And so I can pin in this ceiling, but if it's not sheet rock, you can use tape or, you know, any type of hook that you may have. Maybe uh, one of the ones that will stick to the ceiling if you guys are interested in doing that. But I'm going to finish up this table and show you guys how I create this dessert table from beginning to end. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys. So I'm finished hanging my paper lanterns and my tissue pom-poms and I wanted to show you guys how I did this so if you see across the top you see all the string and I have tape and I also I'm gonna zoom in I have push pins up there reinforcing the string and the tape and then that just hangs over the backdrop that I created and it just kind of frames your dessert station and it makes it really really cute and it adds a lot of character to the party so I hope this tutorial helped you guys if you want to uh, see the entire uh, baby shower just stay tuned I'm gonna do a separate video showcasing the entire baby shower and um, up close of the dessert table but I give you guys a little sneak peek so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any other comments please feel free to leave them in the comment box below and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less bye bye